Hello Hornby fans and welcome to another episode of Signal Box. It's September which can mean only one thing, it's my birthday month. So if you are thinking of sending me a birthday present, send them straight to Hornby HQ in Margate. It'll make a welcome difference to all the hate mail that I've been getting on my desk recently. So on with this month's show, here's what's coming up. We unboxed three locomotives including the Centenary Peckett, our club exclusive Brighton Works and a beautiful looking BR Pug. We hear from the authors of the Adventures on Trains book series about our partnership with them. We bring you all the latest news from Hornby and visit Customer Corner featuring your videos and images. I'm Mike, we're Hornby and welcome to Signal Box. First up, we unbox a very special centenary packet. The Hornby Peckett W4 is both elegant in style, graceful in performance, and is arguably one of Hornby's success stories of the years, making up the 2010 decade. As such, this special limited edition Peckett W4 model in works photographic grey has been produced as part of Hornby's centenary collection. The model is supplied with a certificate which states that the model is from a production run of just 2000 and is presented in a special limited edition commemorative pack which includes a resin miniature maker's plate. I'm sure you'll agree this is a stunning model, perfect for anyone's collection. Recently we announced a special partnership with Macmillan Publishing and their Adventures on Trains book series. Brought to you from best-selling authors M.G. Leonard and Sam Sedgman, Sam and Maya took the time to tell us a little bit more about this exciting partnership. Hello, I'm M.G. Leonard. And I'm Sam Sedgman. And we are the authors of the Adventures on Trains series. An incredible series of adventures set on railway journeys all over the world. These include The Highland Falcon Thief, and kidnap on the California Comet. Our books follow an 11-year-old boy called Harrison Beck who comes from Crewe and loves to draw. Hal goes on incredible adventures with his uncle Nathaniel Bradshaw, a famous travel journalist who loves trains. In every book, Harrison and his uncle travel on a different train somewhere around the world and encounter a different adventure. And Hal's talent for drawing helps him spot clues and unravel the mystery. I first had the idea for the series when my oldest son was little. He loved trains, and in fact still does, and our house was full of all sorts of trains, particularly Hornby Railway sets. And when I first went to the bookshop or the library, I looked for adventures that were set on real trains, with factual information that was accurate and would appeal to the train spotter in him, and I couldn't find them. And I thought, you know what? For all those kids out there who love real trains, there should be an adventure series that is set on the best ones in the world. We are so excited to be working with Hornby to share the magic of trains with readers everywhere. I've always loved Hornby ever since I was old enough to start playing with my dad's train set when I was little. Trains were a really important part of my childhood. I grew up with a railway line at the bottom of my garden and whenever I would hear a train coming, I would run down to the end of the garden and wave at the driver as they went past. When you think of trains, you think of Hornby, or at least I do, and that really makes them the perfect partner for this series of books. 
In my house, every holiday, every Christmas, every summer, every Easter, we get out the train sets and I am always on diorama duty. I love building the models. And so for us, this is a real creative, imaginative partnership where we hope that young readers will use the Hornby train sets to bring our adventures into the real world. How amazing would that be? You can find out more about how we're working together by visiting hornby.com and searching for Adventures on Trains. You'll find lots of fun activities and more from us. We have another two locos for you this week, the club exclusive Brighton Works and the BR Class 21 Pug. Number 51207 started life as LNYR number 504 and was built at Horridge in December in 1893, the first locomotive of the second batch built by Aspinall. Having spent over 68 years in traffic, much of it spent around Goul, 51207 was withdrawn in March 1962. The first of the Terriers to have 2000 added to its number under the Southern Railway's 1931 scheme, 2635 Morden replaced Terrier number 380S as the Brighton Works shunter in August 1946, gaining the service stock number 377S and Stroudley's improved engine green. The locomotive served as Brighton Works showpiece from June 1947 and was absorbed into British Railway stock from January 1948. However, fears that the livery would be reduced to BR Black were unfounded, as DS377 was repainted in a slightly greener shade of yellow in September 1953. On the 12th of January 1959, the Terrier was transferred from service stock to the Motive Power Department at Brighton Works and was given the new number of 32635 which had carried until withdrawal on the 30th of March 1963. We have lots of updates from Hornby this month, so let's get stuck in. After several months, the Hornby Visitor Centre reopened its shop doors this month. Unfortunately, the exhibition and cafe are not currently open, but you can visit our shop and take a look at all of our latest models. We are pleased to be supporting Alzheimer's Research UK during World Alzheimer's Month. Our memories are what make us who we are, and to coincide with our Hornby Memory Series, we'd love to hear how Hornby has helped you with your own experiences with dementia. To share your story, email marketing at hornby.com or comment on our Facebook post to be entered into our competition for the chance of winning a bundle of Hornby goodies. The winner will be selected at random and announced on the 30th of September via social media. If you'd like to make a donation to Alzheimer's Research UK, visit our Just Giving page to help fund vital dementia research. Thank you. Our golden ticket competition is still ongoing. We've had one lucky winner so far, which means there are still plenty to claim. We know you love opening your box and running your loco, but don't forget to check your centenary model box in case you have a golden ticket waiting for you. Worldofrailways.co.uk has unveiled a sequel to its popular virtual model railway exhibition to be held across the weekend of Saturday, November the 7th and Sunday, November the 8th, 2020. Visit the World of Railways website for more information. 
The organisers at Worley Model Railways Exhibition didn't want you to miss out on the annual festivities, even in the current climate. So they'll be hosting a virtual event on the 28th and 29th of November 2020. There will be lots of different presentations over the two days and we will be showing off some of our 2020 models you would have seen at the show, along with interviews with both Simon and Montana. For more details, head over to their website. Our Bassett Lope Steampunk range is now available to buy. You can create your own steampunk world with a range of locos, wagons and characters. New Mark II F Virgin coaches have arrived and are in stock right now. Visit the Hornby website or contact your local Hornby stockist for more information or to order yours today. We love seeing your images and videos of you running your layouts at home on social media, so we've decided to start a new segment in Signalbox called Customer Corner, where we feature some of our favourite customer images. So here's our favourites from the past month. If you'd like to be featured in next month's Customer Corner, share your images and videos on social media with the hashtag Signalbox or email marketing at hornby.com with the subject title Signalbox. Well, that's all we've got time for this month. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. On next month's episode, we'll be taking a look at the hotly anticipated Hush Hushes. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, I'm Mike, you've been great and I'll see you at the next stop.